When I was young, I never needed anyone. And making love was just a fun. Those days are gone. Living alone, I think of all the friends I've lost. And when I dial the telephone, nobody's home. All by myself Don't wanna be All by myself Or in a string Ham and cheese in a small bag of chips Don't wanna live by myself by to my channel best friend if you are new my name is sebastian oh girl that hurt my head <laughs> welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is sebastian i spill pop culture tea every single day so if you're looking for a new messy best friend honey you have found me so why don't you grab a snack and a drink hit that subscribe button best friend i am giving you um i'm giving you like like nerd sexy nerd thick sexy tan nerd oompa loompa orange mess why not listen we gotta talk about miss jennifer lopez because today is her anniversary with mr ben affleck and uh we gotta talk about this so listen they got married uh july 16 2022 i believe so it's their second year anniversary and uh, girl hang on hey google when did jennifer lopez and ben affleck get married Ben Affleck's marry dates are June 29, 2005 and July 16, 2022. And Jennifer Lopez's marry dates include February 22, 1997, Ooh. 2001, Ooh. and others. Oh, not other. Oh, Google, you are shady. He said, and others. He said, and others. <gasps> Google. Uh, okay, I see you. Hey, Google, are you shady? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't understand. Anyways, best friend, so today's their anniversary, okay? So far, no message. I would have thought that we would have woken up with a, Dear Ben, you are our hero. I am so grateful for you and all of your teachings and all of your light that you have provided. And P.S., you are the best Batman. Here is a Dunkin' Donuts uh, gift card of uh, fifty dollars because you know i spend 20 million on the documentary <laughs> listen girl if somebody gave me a 50 dollar uh gift card to dunkin donuts bitch girl i would have streaks down my orange face okay bitch listen a gift card is a fucking gift card are you kidding me like that is a blessing like you could go in there and you don't have to look at the prices at the menu bitch you can be like mm, can i get a, a can i get a four and you know what make that a lorge make that a lorge okay make that a lorge you know what i mean making it a lorge like when was the last time you made it a lorge i don't remember when's the last time i made something a lorge i remember last time I'm like if you take something off can it be cheaper bitch you know what i mean Anyways, best friend, so there is no happy anniversary of today right now. It is 124, okay, 124. I'm going to go live and direct to her Instagram just to see if there is anything updated. And there isn't. The last update was on uh, three days ago, and she was promoting her um, her new Margarita de Lola um, drink. And there is uh, activity on JLo Beauty uh, Prime Day. Uh, today's Prime Day and it's 30% off. So that is what is up. Nothing yet. And I don't even think Ben Affleck has an Instagram, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna check. No, best friend, he does not have an Instagram. He has a lot of like little fake ones, but no, he does not have an Instagram. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very honest with you, girl, you know, if I have to, if I have to guess, like today was a very important day in their, um, like, I guess in the updates, if there was going to be any type of uh, messages or, you know, just like, oh, I love our two year anniversary, you know, 
And if there isn't, I really do think that, you know, you could really just kind of go with it that she is divorcing. Um, and the reason I say is because JLo loves to post. JLo loves a good Instagram post and she has done a Father's Day post and why wouldn't she do a wedding anniversary post? I will say this, best friend, because they have been taking some time apart, there has been some rumors that allegedly they are trying to work it out by spending some time apart and they're trying to kind of see if they could, you know, revamp things, right? But, you know, I do feel like if the day goes by and there's no sign of any happy anniversary message, I feel like maybe they just wanted to wait until today was over. And I will say this, best friend, like it is sad because, you know, you, this is 20 years after. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't get these chances all, you know, so, so, so what is that word I'm looking for? You don't get the chances often, right? You don't get these type of chances often. I mean, you have a love story, it ends, and then, you know, 20 years later, you run into each other and it begins again. Like, that's amazing, you know what I mean? So, it is sad that, you know, they both, because, you know, I, I do feel like it takes two to tango. I feel like they both just did not know how to handle it. But I also feel like they got too riled up in the, we found each other once again, rather than doing the communication, rather than doing the, the work. You know what I mean? I love a good conversation. Like, I love a good check-in with my husband. You know what I mean? I think it's very important to know where you guys are at. It's very important to know where you guys stand. It's important to know how you're feeling. I know it sounds like a Full House episode. Do you guys remember those shows where it was like, you know, the beginning, it was like funny, and then in the middle of the, of the episode, like there's some drama, and then at the end of the episode, they all always end up hugging. Like, they really did hug a lot, bitch. Like, I really don't understand why they were hugging so much. But, you know what I mean? So, you know, in a way, I do feel like it would have been you know, a really smart move for them to kind of like sit sit together and really kind of analyze where they were going and, and what they wanted out of this relationship. They really give me the Justin and Haley vibes. Justin hates the media and the attention. Ben hates the media and the attention. And uh, Haley and JLo love the media and the attention. Both will go to an opening of a damn envelope, bitch. Okay, just between you and me, bitch. Listen, no, listen, no. I'm not gonna be mean, bitch. I'm gonna take that back. You know what it is, best friend? I'm not mean, I'm Latina. I am Latina. I'm gonna blame it on me being Latina, bitch. We're just spicy, girl. And you know I can't have spice anymore, bitch. <gasps> I used to put I used to put hot sauce on everything, bitch. I can't anymore because I have the uh, the reflex thingy, bitch. So I can't I can't do spicy. And you know what, best friend? I've gotten used to it. I was that bitch who would put hot sauce on popcorn, okay? I would put hot sauce on everything, bitch. I would put hot sauce on my husband's pineapple if I fucking could, bitch, okay? My husband was like, Sebastian, sometimes I feel like you overshare because he listens sometimes when I film my videos. He's like, did you really have to say all that? And I was like, you know what? I don't have to. It just kind of comes out. You know what I mean? Like, I am an overshare. I remember one time in school, best friend, and I just remember like waking up one morning and, and realizing, this was after high school, this was in, 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 in college. And I just remember like, you know, it was the first day and I was like, I'm just gonna be me. You know what, I'm just gonna be me. So I overshared that I had nervous diarrhea with my class and they all laughed and they liked it. You know what I mean? Be yourself, you know, be yourself. Anyways, best friend, I love you all so much. I hope you guys had a great day. I hope you guys started your day off right. I went hiking this morning. I went hiking this morning, honey. I had a really good time this morning. I went with Sloan. We went hiking and we talked. We did take the easy uh, hiking trail because, bitch, I could not do the, the hard one, bitch. It is just stairs on top of stairs on top of stairs. So we took the nice, like, you know, walking one. Very friendly, very cute. Um... And it's like a nice path. It's a beautiful view. It's absolutely stunning. And um, and I love I love hiking and I loved my time with him. He is he's just such a nice and 
such a kind-hearted soul and I'm so proud of him. So that was my morning. What did you guys do this morning? Let me know in the comments. Oh, and then I had granola. Oh, I had my raisin bran because you know, uh, the, um, the fiber. So I had the raisin bran and then best friend. And then I had some granola and then I had some, uh, these like, um, organic something, uh, flaxseed, crackers with some hummus so that's what i've had for uh for for food today but anyways grandma let you go because i'm talking a little too much i love you all so much thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye